how to add a C Sharp to your Wix website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate a C Sharp to your Wix website. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit Etsy.com. Then you need to sign up into your account within Etsy. So everything is set and the account is signed in. Create your store and you are going to see right there the store created. As you can see here I have the product added and also the name of the store set. Here my store is not fully complete and also my payment methods on Etsy is not already completed. Uh, also that therefore the billing addresses and the billing information. Right there we have the Etsy store ready so we are going to head over Wix. You're going to visit Wix.com, then you're going to sign in into your account. After you have signed in into your account, you're going to see the Wix websites that you have created. If you didn't create a Wix website, it is very easy to create one. Go ahead and click on create new site and you will see different templates and a lot of options. Once you have created your websites, as you can see in my case, you're going to select any of these websites and edit the website itself by clicking on it. Right there, it will load up the dashboard of the website and then we're going to see right there the uh, dashboard and also the settings. Set your settings and also the, uh, the preferences that you need and then you are going to click on edit site. When you click on edit site, it will load up right there the website editor. It will open up the Wix website editor as you can read right there. Here we have the name of the website and everything is fully loaded. Now, the first thing to add to your Wix website before adding the Etsy store is to add Wix store. Right there, how you can add that, simply go ahead right there to this left sidebar and click on add apps. Now we have the Wix app market. We're going to see right there uh, the apps. So we are going to click on the search apps right there or the search bar. And then we are going to type first Wix store so we have here we have wix stores you're going to click on it because this is the e-commerce solution that you need to install or integrate into your website to make sure that everything works correctly so right there we have the wix stores installed as you can read right there in your case you will not see it installed if it is your first time visiting wix stores so you are going to install it and in a few seconds it will be added to your website after you have added your Wix store, you're going simply to search on the apps right away. And then you are going to set or write Etsy like this. And you will see here the Etsy integration. Sell on Etsy, click on it. And here it will show you the app. At first, right there, upgrade your site to add Etsy integration. Here we have the option or the uh, requirements to upgrade our plan. So you need to upgrade right there your website to a premium plan and also a paid plan. After that, you're going to select a plan, then you are going to pay it. Then simply go ahead and add it to the site. And then you are going to see the Etsy store compartment right there into the pages. You will see it right there on the pages like that. When you click on pages and menus, you're going to see it from here. Then you can customize it add the products, modify them, and also you can go ahead and modify and manage the products of your Etsy store from the Wix dashboard of the website. You're going to see it on the catalog right there. Here we have the store products. You're going to import all of the uh, Etsy shop right there products. You're going to integrate them and automatically import them into your products right there section. And the fulfillment will be set on Etsy. You can either go ahead and automate this process or you are going to set them manually. For the shipping costs and also the payment methods, it will be a collaboration between Wix and also right there Etsy. You are going to receive the payments within your Etsy payment plan or the payment methods on Etsy and also on the Wix website. I will show you right here how you can add a product on Etsy. Go ahead back to your Etsy then you can right there go ahead to your account or your shop manager click on shop manager 
and now we are going to stack our shop so click on stack your shop right there and you are going to see something different than mine because here i didn't finish setting up my uh, billing information and how can i get paid also the shop security is not set yet this is just a testing account nothing is working right there so go ahead and fill up with your own information and or products don't use the information that has been given to you from the video now as you can see we have the shop so we are going to click on add a listing click on it and right there we have to tell wix or etsy before wix about the listing either you can go ahead and set a digital item or digital files or a physical item this will go with both you can add a digital product to wix website and also a physical item who made it you are going to choose one of the three choices you a member of the shop another company for example i will set a i did here we have a physical item i'm going to choose that and what is it a finished product of course so you can choose ahead a supply or tool to make things when was it made right there you are going to set it recently or you can choose the date how does your shop produce this item here we have a lot of choices go ahead and use the most suitable one for you and then you are going to set it right there i'm going to set its symbol from purchased part so and what tools have you used to make this item for example computerized tools i'm going to set where they are handed or handheld and hand guided tools so you can add a production partner right there if you are using for example printify or printful and then you are going to click on save and continue we are going to fix something and here we have the category so i'm going to set a t-shirt for example then we are going to set the category click on save and continue and we are going to tell them about the product from the title the videos and also the photos for example title t-shirt like that this is just an example here we have photos and videos go ahead and be free and choose whatever you want you can go ahead and set the description go ahead and set a uh, very suitable description for that because it is going to be helpful for you and also for your clients for the quality the material used and also the uh, some uh, marketing advices and also some marketing messages to the clients for the price here you are going to set the price i'm going to set a random price and here it will be calculating the estimated profit the quantity you have from 1 to 999 so you cannot exceed that quantity you can add a KCU code and etc variations if you are going to sell multiple colors go ahead and add your variations here we have the tag and your attributes you can go ahead and set the primary color secondary color sizes for example and etc here we have the sustainability you can go ahead and choose or up to three for example linen organic cotton recycled polyester and for sleeve lengths you're going to set short sleeve or etc these are for the settings of the t-shirt you can use some tags for example materials and etc for details everything is set the category is set and here we have the shipping you can set the shipping options and also the profiles go ahead and choose whatever you want from there and then you're going to set everything up when you finish you're going simply to set the shop section right there or add a section and for the new renewal option you are going to set it automatically or manual click on save and continue right there and you're going to see the product right there added to the wix website or the wix store that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one